my blow up. Yeah. Well, guys, bought a trailer. That's what this entire episode is going to be about. Nope, nope, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. We actually got something else that's going to be really cool, really cool, I think. We got, we, uh... I was looking for some uh, something new to work on, and uh, since the lawnmower is clearly not enough, um, and I came across something that I think is gonna be awesome. Now, sorry if my voice sounds a little different. I just went to the dentist, got some work done, so if my uh, voice does sound off, that's why. But uh, yeah, so I got the motor out of this thing. And I got everything, all the, the fenders, the hood, everything off. Everything off. Except the, it's stripped down to the mainframe. So it, that's all good to go. I sent everything off there to uh, paint and body place. So, uh, okay, can I shut this door? This door is always a trouble to shut. But um, they're basically going to get it sandblasted and uh, repainted for us. But today, we're going to go pick up, or at least we're going to look at. I... I we gotta see if we can dig this thing out of where it is, wherever it is. I was talking to one of my buddies, and I was like, "Hey, do you know of any like kind of barn findish little uh, kind of projects and stuff?" He's like, "Well, I don't know about barn finds, but I do know of some uh, older equipment that's been uh, that's been stored away for a while." I'm like, "Okay, okay." I'm... What's that sound? Was that my truck? No, I think that was that place. Anyway. Um, we're gonna go to a place. I, I wanna, I don't wanna tell you guys what it is yet that we're getting, but I feel like it's gonna be really cool. I was gonna say no cop, no stop, but there could be a cop around here. I don't know here, this area very well yet, so, uh, we'll have to see if there's any cops around this area. It's very possible it is. Alright, so we're gonna go over there and, uh, take a look at this new thing. I guess, new to me. Yeah, new to me. All right, I think this is the place. I could be wrong, but I think this is it. Logging yard, huh? Interesting. Interesting. They told me it was back here by this big pile of lumber. This cut stuff. Hmm. Let's see where this thing is around here. Over here? Okay, no. Oh. Oh, 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 is that it? Ooh. Oh. Okay, th dude, they, they must have replaced the tires on this or something. Okay, okay. I'm liking it. I'm liking it, Massey Ferguson. 356 loader. Dude, this thing's cool. Let's, uh, let's jump in it, see what's, uh, see what's got inside. Okay, okay, so interior's even rusted out. Sheesh, we got bushes growing through everywhere. Yikes. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna call the guy that owns it. That's uh, here and uh, see what uh, see what's all been done to it and see what he wants for it. All right. So I talked to the guy, and uh, he said he wants 500 bucks for this thing. It doesn't run. Um, but when they put it away, they they had to put a little while ago. They put new tires on it, and they had to put like all the safety stuff on it. They have to update the lights, everything on it. Uh, cause for safety stuff and then the engine quit and they were like, oh, whatever. We'll just, uh, park it back here. And then, uh, never, never do anything to it again. I, and he said it doesn't run, so I'm, I'm obviously assuming it does not run. So, um, I think we're gonna take this thing. I'm, I'm really excited for this. This looks like an awesome little machine. This is gonna be a, a fun little, uh, work project. This shouldn't take too much. I mean, I don't know if I'll, I might redo the paint on it. Maybe depending oh man that bucket's really bad okay so he said that the bucket's a separate attachment and then he's got the forks there's a, like a set of forks so i got a winch on that trailer i'm gonna see if i can winch it on all right we'll just back it on up here that should be good we'll unfold the ramps and then uh we will get this thing loaded up here all right we're all good to go i got it all loaded up here we should be good just gonna throw a strap down here. All right, we got everything strapped down. We should be good to go. Man, this thing's yeah, this thing's awesome. I can't wait to get this thing home and uh, start working on it. All right, we'll get our ramps here folded up before we get going. All right, we're good to go. Let's uh, let's get this thing home. 
All right, so we're pulling back into the yard here. I think I'm gonna unload this into the shop. Actually, I might not. I might just leave it on the trailer for now. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it on the trailer for now. Because I don't really have any other... Well, I guess I could put it in the shop, but it's, like, not a big deal. Yeah, right there's gonna be fine. But we also need to go into town because we gotta pick up a new cedar. Now, I got rid of the rental. That was just for a little bit. That was temporary. But I did pick up a new cedar for the four-wheel drive. That way, we can get seeding done way faster. Now, the cedar that we're getting is a direct drill, and it's way bigger. And it's gonna be way faster than uh, a lot of the stuff we've had before. I believe it's, it, I don't think it's as bigger, yeah, I don't think it's as big as our uh, corn planter, but it's pretty darn big. There she is, there's that new planter. Things going to be awesome. See, now, maybe this is what I should just got to start, but, yeah, this will work for now. But if you guys are enjoying the videos, please do drop a like, it really helps out, and I know a lot of you that are watching aren't actually subscribed, so if you guys are enjoying the content that you see, Please do consider dropping us a sub and getting us to 15k by the end of the year. Okay, so we just got back to the yard here. Now I gotta figure out where in the heck I gotta pull into this field down here. Because I have no idea. wonder if I gotta pull through the trees, but I'm not gonna fit through the trees because of the cedar. So I may have to go out another way. I just gotta figure out what is my best plan of action here. I think I gotta go the other way. I don't know, I, might, I may try to get through the trees, but I think uh, going out the other way is going to be our best bet. Haha, -ha, trees, I made it through. I scraped some branches, but I did make it through. Alright, let's get this beast unfolded. This thing is brand spanking new. Alright, so i got to figure out what I'm planting in this field. I think it's going to be oats, so i got to cycle around to oats here. Oh, I missed it. Uh, oh, no, I missed it again. Oats, there we go. Alright, so I'm going to pull this thing kind of into the lane that it needs to be. Right about there. Lower it down here. Oh, no, I'm in the wrong category. Lower it down here. Turn it on. And we should be good to go. We're seeding. Finally. This thing's huge. Like, ridiculously huge. But it seems to work pretty good. Now comments, don't take those don't don't take those comments out of out of uh context there. I knew there was a couple of you guys in the comments section that were like, that's what she said, that's what he said. Don't take them out of context, guys. Alright? Don't take them out of context. See now moving forward with this uh operation here, I think it'd be awesome to do cattle. Like get the full hang operation going, everything. But I'm thinking I'm going to stick to farming for like the first year for sure. And then maybe uh, slowly start to get into haying because I believe I do own a pay piece of hay ground. As far as I know. I could be wrong, but I may own a piece of hay ground. See, the question is now, can I get around this tree? If I lift this up and I turn. Yep, I'm going to make it around. Okay, we're good. I'm going to turn around here and I'm going to get going on the next row. Just doing them headlands. Get it all nice and done. This field shouldn't take too long. This one's pretty darn easy. But a lot of cultivating and stuff I just do off camera because it's just it takes so long. And it's not really get it's not really an awesome thing to vlog if you're just vlogging yourself cultivating or seeding for hours and hours and hours and hours. But I should really probably get a seed trailer. Now I can probably use um my grain trailer and just fill that up with stuff, but I think I want to get a grain truck. Now, depending on which one, I don't know, but I think it'd be really cool to get an old grain truck and then, like, refurbish it or something. That would be awesome. Now, I'm curious what I should do with that uh, Massey Ferguson loader tractor. Should I keep it, like, after I finish refurbishing it, or should I take it somewhere and sell it? Now, let me know in the comments what you guys want me to do, because I'm curious what you guys' thoughts are. Alright, so we seem to be able to go 11 miles per hour in this tractor with this cedar. It doesn't seem to be doing too bad. That's actually pretty darn fast if you look at it from uh, how slow some of the other drills are. I guess we bought a pretty good one. See, it's kind of struggling going up this hill here, but that is a pretty good incline. I guess I should... Uh, 
give it that. It did it did make it up, but still had some trouble. So I just got off the phone with the uh, body shop there that uh, has all my parts and the engine place that has the engine because I don't really feel like rebuilding that engine myself. Now that Massey Ferguson loader there, I will be rebuilding that engine for sure myself. But uh, all this stuff for the lawnmower there, that's going to be done as of probably tomorrow. We'll have that all good to go. And then I'll probably assemble it. And then uh, probably off camera. It's just literally putting things back into place, how we took them off. But they're all redone now. So uh, that's going to be pretty darn sweet to uh, see that thing all good to go. I think we're going to also be picking up a rototiller for it as well. Which uh, would be pretty cool. Maybe even a possible mini loader would be awesome. But if you guys are wondering what map this is, this is the Alberta map. Um, I believe you can find it on Mod Hub or wherever. Pretty much any place if you just look, look up FS19 Alberta map. This should come up for you. Alright, so we got about one more pass left. Maybe a little bit left there after that pass. But we've got like pretty much one pass left and then we're done this field and then uh, I might fill this thing back up for going tomorrow or the next day depending on if we have time probably gonna be doing a live stream on seating tomorrow if you guys are interested that's usually uh, 4 or 5 p.m. CST I usually do streams on Sundays so if you guys are interested in tuning in that's when I usually stream alright so we are on our last pass here, but I think we're going to have a little bit left, so we're kind of going to have to go back there just to get that little bit that's left there. But uh, pretty much one pass. Very close, at least. There. Now that's technically we're on the last pass. Just a little bit left here, and then we can go park this thing where it needs to be. All right, so we just got the last little bit here, and that's done. So we can shut the cedar off, lift it up here, start folding it up so we can get a move on. And uh, I think I'm just going to par actually park this just along side the tree rows there because we're going to have to uh, seed that field over there and then that one over there and that one over there and then that one over there. So we still got a few more left to seed for this year, but uh, should be pretty darn quick. All right, I'm going to call that good right about there. Alright, so I'm thinking I'm going to grab that loader there and I'm going to actually offload that thing and put it into the shop because I actually want to start working on that here pretty soon here. T take a bit of a break from seating. We're just going to jump in here and unfold the ramps. Of course, that way we can get it off. Alright, I'm going to call that good. That tractor should be good right about there. We ha just had to push it in with the new Holland here. We just parked that right there. But yeah, guys, we got that in the shed finally. This thing's going to be awesome to fix up. Super excited for this one. The tires are still really good on it. They had to replace the rims and tires, they said, and they had to put new lights on it due to safety stuff. And then the engine blew on it, so I don't think it blew. It just had some problems, and it just stopped working. So I'll have to see what that's all about. I believe they said the hydraulics still all do work, which is great. It's a great little machine. Very excited. I think I might keep it. It might sell it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what I should do. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of the episode for today. If you did enjoy, please do consider dropping a like. If you did enjoy the content you did see. And if you're new, please do consider subscribing. 15k by next year. That'd be epic. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.